Hey guys, Badger here from BTEC IT Solutions. Today is a quick one. I'm going to quickly show you how to properly uninstall your graphics card drivers uh, using DDU or Display Driver Uninstall Utility. Uh, you can find the download link in the description. Uh, normally, you'd use this if something goes wrong with your graphics card driver, uh, it's gotten corrupted, you need to upgrade it, and the old version just refuses to uninstall or Windows decides that it's going to overwrite your driver for some reason and you don't, didn't want it to upgrade, how you can quickly roll back. All right, uh, as I said, it's in the link. Now you'll find that it's already been uh, zipped. So you just right click it, say extract all, unzip it. Open that, double click on the DDU utility, hit extract and you will find a new folder. If you open that, you'll have your DDU over here. When you run that, on the first run, you will get the, the pop-up just saying that, please make sure you've got a backup and yada, yada, yada. So we say, okay. So over here, uh, we can basically leave everything as is. This is for the NVIDIA users. And to remove your GeForce play experience and physics and so on. Now, that doesn't really matter in my case as I don't have an video card in. Um, I would not recommend you taking off the filter for the chipset, the, the driver in any case, for if you have a Ryzen system, uh, that could lead to a green screen of death or a blue screen of death, and it could lead you into some trouble. All right, in any case, um, first things first, what I'd recommend is as you can see, it's moaning that it's not in safe mode. So how about we start there? I wouldn't recommend that you remove the drivers just like this. Do reboot into safe mode. Now there's two ways of quickly going about this. One, we can hit start and we can say run. Okay. And then from there, we can type in msconfig. When that's opened, we just click on boot, click on save boot, and hit OK. It'll ask you if you're sure, and you can reboot, but you'll have to use the same way of getting back uh, from safe mode. So you'll also run it from there. I'll show it there as well. And then you'll just take this off. Or the second way is you can hit start, and you can type in recovery, and hit the recovery options. From there, you can just hit advanced startup and then it will ask you if you want to go to safe mode. So I'm gonna do it that way quickly. Let's restart. Okay, now that it's asking you what you want to do next, hit troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then it's giving you uh, uh, your options basically. So we just say restart. All right, now as you can see, it's asking me how do I want to log into Windows? So all that we're gonna do is we're gonna press the number four for safe mode. All right, now, as we're in safe mode, your help command or help prompt will always pop up. Your resolution will be lower, this is normal for those of you that have never seen safe mode before. So all that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly open up that downloaded file. Right. Okay, now that we're in safe mode, now it's safe to remove your drivers. Okay, so what I'd recommend, is, well, what you have to do is you have to tell it if you just want to re remove your audio driver or do you want to remove GPU. So in my case, we're going to do GPU. And then it's asking NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. So for now, it's just going to be Intel. And then what we do is we hit clean and restart. Um, now, you can clean and not restart, but it might give you a black screen. I highly doubt it if it's in safe mode. Or you can clean and shut down if you're going to install a new graphics card and you just want to remove the old graphics card. Uh, quick thing before we start. Okay, as you can see, uh, win my Windows is already set to automatically install drivers by default, which is something that I don't want, because in my case, 
for example my AMD graphics card I'm running it at a certain driver level and I do not want it upgrading which Microsoft likes doing so to combat that I'm just going to minimize here I'm going to right click on this PC say properties all right and I'm going to go to advanced system settings we're going to go to hardware device installation settings and then I do not want it to download drivers automatically I'll be in charge of that let me just close everything we go back to this and then we can now say clean and restart and as you can see it is busy or removing all of the drivers uh, that has to do with the, the GPU that I've selected. This takes a few minutes. It's actually not very slow, but it's not that fast either. And when it's finished, it's going to restart. And then you will notice that once it's back into Windows, your resolution will be low again, but it's ready and waiting for you. Alright guys, and I'm back into my normal Windows installation and the graphics driver has been removed and it is now ready to receive a new or downgraded or upgraded graphics driver depending on what your original problem was. And that's about the fastest and the easiest way to properly remove a driver. Please do remember that I recommend that that has to be done in safe mode. Uh, it doesn't always work properly in normal Windows installations. It has to be done in safe mode. I found multiple times that using the normal Windows method does not work. So please remember to reboot into safe mode. All right, guys, I hope that helped one or two of you. Uh, it's definitely helped me in the past, even currently with my current graphics card. This has helped me. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, Hit the like button. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, damn it! And if you hit the dislike button, I will come and haunt you at night. And then see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye!